hi to Chaco. Okay, we have a crypt up here for our happy. Nice building here. Building uh, gargoyles. And there's a tomb of relics for happy. Focus at the top right. Is playing Blade Master. He's getting a barracks. He's getting a voodoo launch. Is this an early voodoo launch? Maybe. Uh, no, not early voodoo launch. He is going to get this ogre first, then I think. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I'm so popular, guys. Uh, mute site. Okay. That was me, by the way. Don't uh, don't be fooled. Some of you, I'm sure, some of you have plenty of friends, but that was my friend. There's a blade master and a grunt here in a moment. Blade master going for the ogre warrior. Draws him out a little bit so the grunt can fight with him. Blade master and grunt fighting together. Nice teamwork here by Focus. Just going for this ogre warrior. Tojara, that's Tojara. He has a big sword and he kills the ogre warrior. Ring of protection, okay. Does he, I feel like you keep it though in this matchup. You don't sell it. There's a nice healing salve. And a one burrow attack. Mimo over here for Happy. Happy is getting another fiend. He's getting a death knight, a death knight and fiends. What a surprising turn out of events. We don't see like a dreadlord and fiends. We don't see a lich and ghouls. We see a death knight and fiends. Meanwhile, the blade master just going for the ogre magi. Grunt scouts here, he sees, oh, oh, I see, you're just creeping this. You're just, oh, there's no Blade Master here. The Blade Master is creeping the Ogre Magi. So the Death Knight gets this kill. He also gets Ring of Protection, even worse for uh, the Death Knight. There's a Potion of Invulnerability here, which is pretty good. Yeah, and he uses Heal Soft on the Blade Master. Is he going for the next Ogre Magi? Or is he just going to uh, go for the shop? Sometimes we see them go for the shop. Right, there's uh, another grunt in a moment. He's gonna build it after this burrow is complete. But first, see if he sells the ring and buys a circlet or something. Yeah, sells the ring, buys a circlet. Go for the first all berserker. Killing it pretty fast. Meanwhile, there, there's the grunt. And the, the berserker is dead. Of course, he doesn't get boots. Because you don't get boots in this matchup. This first top berserker totally dead, guys. He's gone. Roar! 96 critical strike, and now he's going for the ogre mauler. There's an 82 critical strike. And this grunt, he is um, taking a little bit of damage. But the focus is calculated. <laughs> 17 hit points. Calculated there by focus. There's a healing self. One of uh, Lightning Shield is pretty decent if you can use it to kill the Murlocs. You can creep this Murloc super fast with a one of Lightning Shield. The Blade Master, is he gonna get a last hit here on something? Maybe the Troll, Troll Trapper. Claws of Tech, much better here for the Death Knight, but really, as always, uh, well, maybe that's better than the Circlet, but probably you still want the Circlet. And there goes the last Troll. The Circlet is just so powerful. There's another fiend. And he's gonna creep this with the lightning shield. Wakes up the creeps. And uh, yeah, this is just such an easy creep here. And you can steal your opponent's orange creep camp. Right, this Murloc creep camp. So fast, so efficiently. Tome of strength. This is a nice circlet. Oh, another circlet, wow. Three circlets already here for Tojara. And what's Happy doing? Happy still has only level two and a half death knight. Four fiends. Okay, Blade Master going for a fiend. Lightning shield on the Murloc. And Blade Master gets the last hit. I guess the Lightning Shield on the Murloc hardly did anything. Uh, just made it uh, all the other, other Murlocs a bit uh, lower health. Made it e easier for Happy. I don't like that Lightning Shield too much. Not sure we got the Tome, by the way. But it uh, wasn't a XP Tome anyway, right? Okay. The Death Knight with four fiends fighting against a Blade Master. Blade Master doesn't have a healing self. And he, uh, he also doesn't have mana for Windwalk. No more mana for Coil either. The Coil would be level 1 anyway. The TC creeping here with the Grunts. Going for this Forstal Trapper now. Roar. Going for the this Forstal Trapper now. Roar. 
and snare on the the skeleton. He's going for the skeleton. Kills the skeleton. Easy peasy kill. Meanwhile, wait, TC second. Hello, Chaco. This is not standard, guys. This used to be standard on this map, though. With uh, TC second and then expansion. Does he have a peon? Yeah. This is an old meta strategy in this matchup. Maybe he goes for it because he got uh, such a strong blade master. So he realizes, hey, if I just go for this early expansion, no shadow hunter, no tier three, I can uh, try to win the game early. Player's forces are under attack. Oh, a raid is surrounded. I didn't even notice. Wow, Chaco, professional commentator for sure. There's a nice coil on the fiend. Blade master going for a fiend. Blade master takes a lot of damage. Uh, he's not at super hit points. Do we have uh, Nova first? Oh, and he almost got the blade master. He went down to super low hit points, uh, but uh, just enough to survive. Of course, he had to use the info potion though, and he's still low on hit points. So yeah, he has to be careful. There's no mana for coil though. There's no mana potion or something on the death knight. Did he scout yet? Yet I don't think he scouted the jet. I mean, he scouted the TC though. He scouted the DC with the skeleton, so he knows there's an expansion for sure. Oh, what a miss stomp by Focus. Uh, did I just select the piggy? Yeah. Oh, no. The Lich in trouble. We don't have minor for Coil. The Lich is going to die, but he will get the uh, cancel the expansion and will have to TP out though. Hopefully, he doesn't lose too many fiends for him. Uh, this fiend is dead. So, a fiend and a dead Lich for a uh, cancel on the expansion. And he had to TP out, right? TP a fiend and a lich for a castle and expansion. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, canceling that expansion is pretty big, though. It's pretty big. But maybe uh, that trade was still good for focus. He has three circles and a claws on the blade master, and he can buy more items. You know, <laughs> he can buy uh, actually only circlet available at the moment. Lich is back. Of course, Lich only under 70 gold. Comes back in 36 seconds. He's a Black Citadel. Can he get the orb? Does he have the money? He doesn't have the money. Or did he buy one already with the Death Knight? No. Look at this Blade Master. He's hiding here. That's a dead Cobalt. Meanwhile, did, oh, did the Blade Master just attack something? Yeah, he's going for the Fiend. Coil on the Fiend. There's no Frost Armor yet. So, Blade Master is uh, doing quite a lot of damage. TC is level 3 now. Level 3 TC is so scary, but there's no Shadow Hunter, so. Sure, TC level 3 is scary, but with the other Shadow Hunter, you can you can still uh it's it's not that scary, right? Once you have a level 3 Shadow Hunter and a level 3 TC, that's one that's just like okay. This this is BS. But just a level 3 TC. No problem. Can you tell in-game people to... Uh, okay. I don't even know this, right? I don't even know this until you guys mention it. But for me, it's... Uh, I'm very good at ignoring stimuli. Comes uh, the Lich and the Death Knight. There's a destroyer. Oh, you can cancel this again. Uh, yeah, he's on time. And then he can TP. Does he have orb? He does have an orb here on the lich. There is a cancel on this on this building. The the P on is dead. And there's a TP in. And look at this. Happy is 46 supply. Focus at 42. So. Although the hero levels are better for focus, the Lich doesn't have Frost Armor yet. It does seem like it was, uh... It does seem... A player's forces are under like that cancel earlier was pretty good for Happy because he's in a pretty good shape. Canceling that expansion again. Like, focus is only tier 2 and he's now going to Fortress. Happy is a tier 3 and he has, you know, equal supply. So it's, yeah, it's looking really good for Happy, I think. Let's see what the TC can do. Let's see what this Blade Master with the three circlets and the Claws of Attack can do. Three Raiders, three Grunts, one Berserker. Here comes the Death Knight and the Lich. Did 
his units are zero zero upgraded. He's just going in. He's just going for the burrows. Oh, this is so good. If he had frost armor, it would have been better. Focus uh, cannot get a good angle. This fiend just tanking everything by himself. Hey, the coder shows up, but the coder is just going to die to the fiends very fast. And uh, there's another coil on the fiend. The Kodo is dead. The blade master finally shows up. This is just GG, guys. Anyway, this strategy for focus is the reason it's out of meta because it's, uh, you know, as you guys can see, it's not winning games. This fiend frost armor survives three hit points. So happy didn't lose a single unit there. He killed the Kodo. He killed a peon. He killed four burrows, maybe even five. And all he had to use was a TP. This fiend is hiding here on the ground. There's a temple of the damned going up. Death Knight is level 3, the Lich here level 2. Oh, nice, nice dodge off that and stare. This fiend underground. Oh, <laughs> as he goes up ground, but there's no, there's no uh, dust. Oh, there is dust actually. There's dust. He uses the dust to kill the fiend. So this fiend is going to die. This fiend is still alive. We have a statue here. I think Happy is not planning to fight at all. He's, he's planning to get for some more burrows and TP out again. Right? Or maybe he was trying to get some creeps as well over here. But Focus, he saw that Focus knew where he was. So now he's going for the burrows. This burrow should be easy kill. These other burrows as well. This burrow has been cancelled. Comes a Blade Master. Blade Master going for a fiend. Frost armor on the fiend. And there goes the first burrow. Second burrow is next, of course. Uh, Frost armor on this fiend would be nice. There it is. Blade Master working on a, on a uh, destroyer. Let's see some crits, by the way. 221, 172, 91, 42. And it does die. And this last... Oh, this fiend is also probably going to die. This burrow, though. Also gone. So... Focus, he has to build four burrows again. And he's getting the burrow upgrade now. Also, the Kodo upgrade is not done yet. He, he doesn't... He's not upgrading it yet. The uh, increased war drums damage, of course. And now, Happy... Does he want to... I mean... I mean, the supply is still pretty even. But Hip Happy now has Banshees. And... You know, maybe that's what the time when he's like, okay, now I can take a fight and uh, win the game. These heroes are close to level 4. Pretty scary. He has level 2 Windwalk. So we'll see some level 2 Critical Strike, level 2 Aura. What is this? Ziggurat. Okay. What a game, guys. What a game. Instead of Orc going for the base... Base laming strategy is happy. Happy is doing the base laming. <laughs> Blade Master so close to level four. He's going for this creep camp. The Blade Master and the Kami goes here. Okay, he's not going for the creep camp. Not going for it. Happy here in the center. A player's there, Dark Ranger as well. For uh, for Happy. And now he has 50 supply gets 48. Uh, he's creep jacking. It's not a big creep jack. Oh, top of XP. Uh, maybe pick it up with the TC. We'll, if you can get level 5 TC, it would be a comeback uh, mechanism. He's silenced though. The TC went in. Oh, who's going to pick it up? The Blade Master picks up the top of XP. Go for the Lich, but uh, there's a stop. Oh, is the Lich is going to die? The Death Knight. No, there's a coil. Uh, the Kodo eats a fiend, he, but the Kodo is going to die for sure. He's, he's so close to the Lich. No, he's not going to die. That's what I was trying to say. He's not going to die for sure. Uh, the fiend dies, and we have a ghoul here fighting against a Blade Master. Who wins that fight? Well, the Blade Master gives up on the ghoul, goes for the Lich. Nice stomp. Can he get a Lich though with some crits? No, critical miss. That's the opposite of a crit. And again, oh, another stomp though. The Lich is doing just fine. There's another coil. 
Uh, the Kodo eats a Banshee. That must stay so nice. And now these grunts are in danger. Focus is trying to retreat, but uh, he's losing this grunt. This grunt's probably also going to be just fine. The Kodos, they do give vi vision though, so. Okay, this one. Uh, wait, what? No, this one. He has three Kodos. Three Kodos. What is the counter to three Kodos? Well, maybe we'll see some more Fiends. He has one Fiend. Fiends and Master Banshees are also good against Kodos. Right, because we don't have a lot of Raiders. We have one Raider. Master Banshees could be a way to go here. If Happy uh, wants to, but Happy doesn't go for Master Banshees. So Happy can creep this without any worry because of the Kodos. Right, so that's the, the weakness of the Kodo. Right, this Fiend. Even though he's in the stomach of the Kodo, he's sending letters. He's sending letters to the Death Knight. Death Knight is level 4, delicious, almost level 3. Happy at 55 supply, but the minus 3, 52, of course. It's not like he wants to fight here, though. He has a TP, like he has units in his base. A lot of supplies in his base. This army is very low in supply. But maybe he can get a Berserker and then TP out. That's uh, what he does, okay. This ghoul could be eaten, actually, if he wants to, if he's hungry. He's going for Destroyer, Destroyer gets away. Delicious leveled up to level 3. Dark Ranger leveled up to level 2. And what is his army? Well, this is because he uh, he was so late attacking to tier 3. What kind of army do you build against Undead as Orc is tier 2? Well, you cannot really... There's no, no good army, so... He just went for mass Kodos. 3 Kodos. With 3 Raiders. Maybe that's the way to go. He is going for Adept. Maybe, uh, maybe even Master. Like, the Adept spell doesn't do much, right? The Anti-Magic Shell doesn't do much. So if he's going for Adept, I assume he's just going to prepare for a Master. Try to possess these Kodos. There's only three Raiders. Well, there's three Raiders now. So if Focus has good Micro, he can uh, he can snare the Banshees. And cancel the possessions. Gah, gah, gah. This turtle is... Does he not take it? Wait, what? Yeah, pocket expansion going up. Dark Ranger gets a ring of regeneration. Uh, the Blade Master and the Raiders here going for this crib. There's a TP. This Raider is going down fast. He's dead, guys. There's a skeleton. Okay, so now, now it's focus that needs to buy time. And how is he going to buy time? He d these Kodos are so slow. They're not time buying uh, units. It's only two Raiders because he just lost the other Raider. Do we have Master Banshees yet? Is he going for Master? He's not going for Master. So he maybe just went to death for the extra hit points. The extra mana on your Banshees. Or maybe he was planning to go Master, but he changed his mind. We have a ghoul there. Focus, on the other hand, is just continuing to go raiders. Yeah, that's, at this point, that's the best choice, of course, because he needs a base lane. He needs to buy time for his expansion to pay off. This Banshee is running away from the Blade Master. No purchase yet, but uh, he doesn't need a purge. He just uses his sword to kill the Banshee. That's right. No need to be afraid of ghosts, uh, guys. You can use your sword and kill ghosts. Here comes uh, the, the Death Knight, the Lich. Dark Ranger, they're gonna kill these peons and cancel the burrow. I'm not sure if he can get the main, the town hall here though. Uh, because he's gonna lose some buildings. Is a pillage? There is pillage, yes. There's TP. Yeah, he kills the peons, he kills the burrow. Uh, he leaves the ghouls behind. Oh no, he doesn't. Huh. Okay, for a second I thought he was gonna leave them behind because they were gonna chop wood. And of course, uh, ghouls to chop wood, they don't TP with, but I guess he cancelled the chopping wood at the last moment, realizes he just wants to fight. There goes the first Kodo. The Kodo takes so much damage from the fiends, so uh, having like three fiends is just, you know, enough to kill the Kodos. I mean, he doesn't even care that the Kodos are in the front. I mean, the Raiders do no damage. There's only one Grunt, so he just wants to kill the, uh, the Kodos. There's one Kodo still alive. It's so far away though, it doesn't give any aura damage. TC nice stomp, the level 2 stomps are amazing. And he has more of them, of course. He has a mana potion, and he has plenty more stomps. The Kodo does eat the fiend. 
And is he going for the code? He's going for the code though. Dark Rangers, well, the TC with another stomp. So many nice stomps. Still a lot of Rangers and Grunts alive, but they don't really matter that much. There's not a coil on the Lich. This uh, this Grunt is dead. Look look how fast these Grunts are dying. TC just TPs out like, you know, this Grunt. Oh, he kills the Fiend with the Blade Match. The Grunt survives. 23 hit points. This Grunt, this <laughs> Ghoul can kill the Grunt. Hello, Ghoul. He doesn't go for the Grunt. And the Grunt survives because the Ghoul was... Uh, he cared so much about his own life, he didn't see that kill. He didn't see the opportunity, right? There is 800 gold left in the main. It's only 600 here. So, uh... Happy needs to do something about the expansion, or he needs to win the game before the gold mines are empty. There's a Kodo over there. Get this Kodo. His peons are running! Do we have another TP? We do have another TP. Coil on the one peon. I don't think he saw the other peons. There goes another peon. <laughs> Two peon kills. Oh, he sends the skeletons. I guess he knows there are more peons. Oh, he doesn't see the, the peons. Uh, meanwhile, here. Guess what Focus is doing? He's killing the Black Citadel. And did he TP with the skeletons? I think the peons on purpose uh, lured the skeletons back. So the skeletons TP'd with the ar in that army. Does he not rebuy a TP? Or maybe we'll rebuy the TP at the shop. The Blade Master healing up. The TC Look, this, this army, just Raiders and Grunts, is not a fighting army. He cannot fight. He cannot fight uh, happy no matter what. I mean, not no matter what, but. Okay, he's gonna buy. Some, uh, he, I think he's preparing for a fight though. I uh, cannot I cannot win this fight even if he buys muddy and the berserker he doesn't have that much money anyway he only can, he can only buy the berserker he's never gonna win this fight focus it's too early he should have gone back to the base a are under there's a dust he does have a TP now on the death knight here come the raiders okay we have one berserker and one kodo and the statue is kind of hurt there goes the first raider he's dead already we have uh, I think only two banshees or one banshee only this kodo hello bye bye He's turned into the skeleton. The Berserker, of course, of course, also going down fast. The Banshee is still alive, surprisingly, when we have so many Raiders. And they leave uh, her alive. Uh, the Grunt is killing the Banshee, apparently. There's a uh, Stomp hits a few, a lot of units. These Stomps are so beautiful. And there goes another Raider. Uh, another Stomp. He has Mana Potion, so he can keep Stomping. Two more Stomps for sure. This Fiend is dead. The level 5, uh, level 3 Critical Strikes might win the, uh, win the game here, but not if he misses. Uh, and there goes another raider. So many skeletons as well. They're great at killing raiders. Like this dark ranger, she's great against the raiders. And uh, this banshee, what? Another banshee showed up. But the raider's trying to kill her. She's not going to die, guys. The banshee's not going to die, at least uh, not until the stomp. I'm not even <laughs> sure if she died to the stomp there, but still. Uh, this TC in trouble now. TC is dead, guys. And he is level 5, so more XP here. This Death Knight now level 5. Dark Ranger level 4. These peons, wow, so many peons are all gonna turn into skeletons. And one is dead. Another one here is going down fast. Lich eats the skeleton because he was hungry. I understand him completely. Sometimes I'm also hungry and I just, I don't mind what I'm eating. I just want to eat something. Uh, now we have a lot of skeletons and they kill the Great Hole pretty fast as well. The damage is pretty good against buildings. Because they do normal damage. Normal damage is 70% damage against buildings. So, uh, oh, but the Lich eats another skeleton. He's so hungry. And there goes the main. The town hall, I mean the expansion. The TC was bought back at the tavern. Maybe he should, re <laughs> Maybe he should retrain. I, I, he doesn't have the money, but he could sell a bunch of items. Retrain to Shockwave and just <laughs> try to win with base phrase. But, uh, no, I don't see it happening. GG. GG. That's the first game. I, th I think the other way around. I would prefer that. But it seems like Focus doesn't. The Grunt is just walking to the creeps. And the creeps are just gonna be... Oh, it kills the sheep even! Wow. Is this Grubby? Is Grubby playing on Focus's account? And uh, he used the Windwalk. Uh, no critical strike first or whatever. Because, you know... I mean, if you get a Tome of XP, there's no reason to go uh, Windwalk first. But you don't always get a Tome of XP. Oh, the Eclite wants the last hit, of course. Of course he wants the last hit. Is he gonna get the last hit? No, he even used a windwalk just to make sure uh, he gets the last hit. Flute, uh, he's gonna sell it. So he has a lot of gold now. And what is he gonna use that gold for? 
So he's gonna attack first of all. Once he's 109 uh, lumber. And uh, yeah, now he has a lot of gold. He's gonna buy a circlet. He's gonna probably buy two circlets. Maybe even a boots if he finds this death knight over here. But I don't think he see he knows, right? There's a death knight over there. Or maybe he knows. <laughs> maybe he was just planning to... Uh, well, Creeper, check this out anyway. He will get the last hit on the null. No, he will go for the death knight. Look at that. So much damage here done on the death knight. He can get some skeletons as well. The death knight does have coil. So the death knight does get the last hit. And he gets the item as well. Ring of protection again. Uh, not really what you want in this matchup, but maybe it's uh, useful right now because he needs to survive this blade master that does a lot of damage but It seems like this ring of protection didn't matter in the end he would have survived without it at least so far Actually the blade master is probably gonna get one more attack off or Maybe even two or is it definitely just gonna kill himself? You see ring of protection did nothing for him uh, this way, by the way, killing the, his death knight himself, even if he was able to get away. Maybe he wanted to kill his death knight. Because the death knight was at like 5 hit points. Actually, he was like at 80. But uh, what I'm saying is... If you can just uh, pay 170 gold to get a full hit point death knight back. It's better. Because you're never gonna creep with like a 80 hit point death knight. Yeah, you can wait on your creep. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Because this is... 36 seconds right so if you had 36 seconds for your death knight to just heal and creep he would be at like what 250 hit points but you wouldn't have to pay 170 gold anyway death knight is back oh no he didn't have an aura yet so in that case he would probably only have like 150 hit points blade master creeping these gnolls there's a fiend harassing does not get a last hit the blade master kills that no warden Blade Master is level 2. There's another grunt. Here comes a uh, Death Knight. Second Fiend. This grunt runs past the sheep. Does he kill it? He doesn't kill it. Okay. He's going to Fortress, very uh, standard, but you see, he even goes to Fortress before the Bestiary. Shadow Hunter, though. Standard play this game. No TC fast expansion this game. And uh, Happy's gonna kill some Nulls. This Nulls is going to die. Blade Master shows up. Does he? See? He doesn't see it, I think. Or maybe I don't know. It's it's uh, evening, so it's hard to see. Hard to know how much the Blade Master sees. 90 damage critical strike there is nice. But we have a level two Death Knight, so he's not gonna lose any fiends to this uh, Blade Master. Does have a scroll of speed, but you know, not that much damage output. He only has a circlet. He's only level two. The fiends with the uh, movement speed aura gonna be just fine. There's a lich. Shadow hunter, where are you? There's a shadow hunter. There's a war mill. Beast area, great, beautiful. Slaughterhouse going up. Uh. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, so happy just creeping this null camp over here. Is he going for this one with the Shadow Hunter? I think so. And even with the Blade Master. Level 3 Blade Master is pretty good on this map. It's such a big map. So you want that level 2 Windwalk just so you can move faster. You can uh, find the undead a lot easier. You can follow him around. Rawr. There's a lot of creeping going on. So there's a lot of creep jacking going on with the Blade Master. Shadow Hunter did get the kill there. Skeleton uh, trying to be annoying. He goes down. Let's see what tome we get here. Do we get a good one? Tome of XP. Meanwhile, see uh, happy going for that one. Uh, tome of strength. Okay. And meanwhile, we'll see. Uh, wait, what item did he get? Did I even check that item? Lionhorn of Stormwind. Okay. What do we get here? Sobi Mask. That's a better item, of course. Sobi Mask. Pretty good. Pretty good. Here comes the Shadow Hunter. Can he get any kills? The Death Knight is not level 3 yet, so uh, it's gonna be difficult for uh, Happy. He used the Info Potion on the Lich. Save his Lich. These units are kinda hurt though. 
for focus. There's a TP. He sees the radar and he TPs out without losing anything. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Happy just using his TP there is fine. Uh, because now he can buy the orb. Oh, yeah. In a moment he can buy the orb. And then he can fight. Blade Master is now level 3. And the Shadow Hunter is level 2 still. Is going for DC. There's the DC. He has the burrow. No, no burrow upgrade yet. Doesn't have the lumber yet. Does he have Kodo? He has one raider. One raider. He's going for the Kodo. Raiders find a skeleton. And here we have the orb now on the lich. Very good item. There's another statue. Rawr! These ensnares are beautiful on the fiends. I mean, it's just some raider ass. It doesn't. It's not really that scary. Potion of greater mana. Great item here for the death knight. What do we get here? Uh, also, potion of greater mana. It's alright here for the Shadow Hunter. Or even the TC. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's decent. Decent. Is he going for Berserkers or is he. Uh, we're not that far yet. Because he still needs his uh, code upgrade. He's going for the reinforced defenses first. And then when he handles the Lumber, he needs the Kodo Wardrooms upgrade. He's going for an expansion? Is it, Or is it just long distance mining? Did he buy an expansion? Yes. That's where his Lumber went. I was wondering why his Lumber was so low. He bought a tiny great hole. But Happy is close by and I think Happy can just cancel it. Or cannot cancel it. Kill it, maybe. If he uh, attacks right now. Oh no, he's going for a Temple of the Damned. So Happy probably won't attack yet. He will wait for his Banshees, so this expansion will probably pay off. Shadowhunter so close to level 3. TC close to level 2. Blade Master just, you know, he only has level 1 Critical Strike. He doesn't do a lot of damage, he's not that scary. But that's fine, because the TC and the Shadowhunter, they are the scary heroes. Focus doesn't want to fight here. He did see uh, Happy was over there, but even though he could go for a creep jack, his Blade Master was all the way on the left side of the map. And uh, also, he's, he just invested into that expansion. So instead, he just goes for the base, force another TP. But uh, what did we get here? Wait, what item did we get? Ring of Protection plus four. So many protection rings here for uh, Happy. He will have to TP. He does scout his base now. But there's no way he can... Uh, he, maybe he can kill a few peons. Wait, there's only two raiders? Okay. He's gonna lose his Temple of the Damned, but he will kill a bunch of peons. He also loses his uh, peon. Uh, not peon, the ghoul. But he's gonna kill so much here, so many peons. This is gonna be cancelled. <laughs> These ghouls defending the main. Go for the Blade Master. This Banshee, look at how uh, defensive position this Banshee takes. The shop is also going down, though. These skeletons... Doing a lot of damage to the TP yet. Is it time for... T is he actually going to kill the town hall? No. No. Takes way too long. He would lose way too much. And there's a TP out. There's a TP in. Does he coil the Kodo? Okay. The Kodo does go down. The Banshee survives. And these skeletons still killing peons. Can he get this one? We have two ensnares. He could ensnare the two skeletons. Ensnares one of them. Ensnares the other one. Okay. And the peon is safe, kinda. Safe enough. Hello, Michael the Boombringer. Woo! Death Knight, does he buy a TP? He does not buy a TP. Does he buy a TP now? He buys a TP. Happy is 13 supply behind, but. Does that mean anything? He has stronger heroes 3 3 2 against 3 3 1. Blade Master isn't that strong. The Shadow Hunter has level 2 healing wave and a potion of greater mana. Shadow Hunter is pretty strong here. We have a lot of rings of protection here on these heroes. This, uh, <laughs> this Mira, Dark Ranger, has almost 10 armor. Blade Master going for this, this statue. There's no false armor on the statue, or maybe it got purged. TC is level 2 now, but silenced. This Raider is going down fast. Does he uh, survive? The Code is hungry, but he misses his dinner. This Raider is still alive, and there he goes. No more raiders now. So uh, he just has perch and stomps to get units, uh, hold units into place. This Kodo is going to die. Maybe he runs away very early. So that's nice. This fiend is dead. And it's just heroes and one destroyer left here for Happy. He lost a lot of uh, 
Yeah, fiends. You know, and the statue. Can you get the Shadow Hunter? He's going for the Shadow Hunter. Play Master going for the Destroyer. There's a coil on the Destroyer. There goes one Grunt. The Grunts die very fast, of course. To this one Destroyer. There's uh, another coil on the Destroyer. There's a Headhunter, which is not that strong at the moment. It doesn't have the upgrade, the Berserker upgrade. There's another coil on the Destroyer. It's still alive. Now we have a Raider incoming. This Grunt is pretty dead. Another Skeleton. Uh, is he going for the Shadow Hunter? There's a Stomp here. Can he get a Lich? Nice critical strike. Nice Hex. And there is, you know, is it GG? There it is. GG. GG. We have 1-1, one, one, guys. Okay, Blade Master for focus. No Farce here this time. Death Knight here for Happy. No Dreadlord this time. Death Knight and Fiends, of course. Blade Master and Grunts, of course. And his shop is built over here. So, let's see. What is he gonna creep? Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. With this shop over here, I think he's gonna creep this ogre. Go back. Sell his TP. But I was wrong. He's going for this one. He's immediately going for this one. But the shop is pretty early. Maybe he's afraid uh, if it's close position. You know, maybe he's afraid that Undead will go come in and cancel the shop. That's why he built his shop this early. Because uh, obviously, he's not gonna need the shop for a while. First, he's gonna creep this entire creep camp. And then he will go back home and buy items. He's stacking now. And uh, let's see. He buys a circlet. 48 XP. He's killing all these units. This ogre here is going down next. He did not get, not get a tome of XP. And uh, yeah, he's killing all these ogres. He killed the trolls. Grunt here fighting against this ogre. Blade Master fighting against this ogre. It's like we have two one on ones. Ogre versus uh, orcs, guys. Seems like the orcs are a bit stronger than the ogres. And he kills this ogre magi. Ah! Ring of protection plus three. Not really what he was hoping for, but it's you know it's not not sell worthy. I mean it's keep worthy, so he keeps it. Meanwhile, happy doing the same thing at the other side of the map. Gets a ring of protection as well. Even worse for the death knight. And the blade master is running past the turtles using heal stuff on himself. And uh, what a game, guys! There we see another ghoul. Players forces are under attack. There goes the ogre. Blade Master. He was hoping to, if, to find a death knight, but the death knight is over here. O also doesn't get a tome of XP. Tome of strength. He's so strong now. 27 strength. And he gets the last uh, kill. Yeah. Both players level 2. 274 XP. For both heroes, exactly the same amount of XP. This grunt running past the turtles. There we have another fiend. So many fiends. Third fiend here. Another grunt. I uh, use the dust. The blade master has been spotted. Look at these attacks on the fiend. 80 damage critical strike. There's another coil on the fiend with three fiends and a bunch of skeletons. The blade master is afraid. Of course he's afraid. He's so afraid. I think there was a skeleton here that uh, scouted the base. Going for the turtle. And the death line now has more XP than the blade master. But he has no more mana for coils. So he needs to be so careful with his fiends. He will have uh, mana for one more coil in a bit. In a bit. He's getting a four fiend. And the blade master gets this turtle. Blade Master needs to heal up. He's a bit low. And the Death Knight, you know, he's uh, beautiful. He buys more skeletons. It's Lord Death Storm. A rush case here. Oh, yes, he, be, he was dusted. And the healing stuff is going to be cancelled. Uh, Koi only does 70 damage. So he's not going to kill this Death Knight, uh, Blade Master. You know, do we have anything here? We have a Fortress. We have a Bestiary. We have an Altar. Uh, I mean, a Shadow Hunter. Okay, pretty standard again. For focus he won with the last game so might as well do it again just play standard don't do any uh, tc second expansion shenanigans blade master with the grunts just go for the giant sea turtle he's dead uh, rope of the magi uh, um yeah no yeah the other one a mental of intelligence here for the blade master death knight scouts him with the skeleton he's level three now he has level two coil and he has so much rings of protection Eight armor, hello. A player's some skeletons, and he's on his way. He wants to coil some. Uh, what does he want to coil? 
He has two coils. Could take a grunt. He doesn't want a grunt. He w does want a grunt. Okay. There's a speed claw. He's going for the death knight. Death knight doesn't get surrounded. What? Well, there's only one fiend. Oh, there are the other fiends. 82 critical strike, but you know, for eight armor on this death knight. He doesn't die very easily. Even if you do 84 critical strikes, you need to do more damage with those critical strikes. He has uh, level one crit, so he could do up to 116 damage. That would be better. He's uh, wait, did he get a grunt? Skeletons did get a grunt, I think. He's down to two grunts. Yeah. There's a snare. Oh no, 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 never mind. He did, did not get a grunt. Two grunts here, still alive. Very low hit points. Roar! Healing self is beautiful. Shadowhunter is level 1, but the uh, Blade Master will soon be level 3. And now it's gonna solo creep with the Shadowhunter, I assume, but maybe I misassume. Because he wants his creep, no? No, okay, never mind. He just wants a level 3 Shadowhunter ASAP. So he's getting another Raider. And the Blade Master is going for the harassment. Of course, uh, Happy is going for this Ogre Lord. Dust, but there's no Blade Master around. <laughs> fiends might come back. These fiends, two fiends, very low on hit points. But uh, the Ogre Magi will be killed in time. The Blade Master was just not there in time. Uh, Endurance Aura, by the way, super nice item. Probably second best that he could have gotten here. His fiends now moving so fast. Unholy Aura level 1, Endurance Aura level 1. The support support sees the Blade Master just walking around. Rawr. Look how fast everyone moves. Even the skeletons. Meanwhile, the skeletons are creeping over here. You got uh, again the Lionhorn of Stormwind. Burrow. Oh, we see Burrow. F 39 supply for Happy. He gets Burrow. He has 5 fiends. He gets Burrow. He buys the orb on the Death Knight. We'll give it to the Lich. Meanwhile, oh wait, the Blade Master over here. Just chilling over there. There's two dust. He bought the dust. There's still one dust though for the Death Knight. He uses the dust. He sees the Blade Master. Blade Master retreats. The Shadowhunter. Is he level 3? Yes, he's level 3. And now the TC is out as well. He's getting a Kodo. He's getting. What else is he getting? This game, no pocket expansion. He has 425 lumber. I guess it's time to get the burr upgrade. Focus. Getting the war drums upgrade, which makes sense, but also the burrow upgrade would be nice here. And maybe a uh, tool berserker upgrade if you're going for berserkers. But instead of going for berserkers, he went for a second Kodo. Okay, interesting. Two Kodos. Healing self use here on the Blade Master. Meanwhile, over here we have a, a Lich and a Death Knight. Getting a giant sea turtle. The Lich is level 3. I, I Maybe he goes for two codes because he l saw a lot of fiends. There are a lot of fiends. And there's destroyers. And there's a ziggurat. So uh, there's no banshees. In which case, codes are a bit better. Compared to the headhunters. To the berserkers. This ogre lord takes a lot of damage. Let's see what item we get here because his base is under attack. His shop is under attack. And oh, the reinforced defense is not done yet. Happy might be able to do some damage here. Let's see what items did he get. Medall <coughs> Medallion of Courage. Not a bad one. Not a great one. It's not an aura, but it's still decent, you know. Extra strength and intelligence. Nice on the TC. Use the Scroll of the Beast, but the Fiend gets eaten. And another Fiend got killed. He's going for this, uh, this Kodo. Going for the next Kodo. There's only one Kodo left. Gets away, the Kodo gets away. He's running so fast. Stomp hits. Two ghouls, a Dark Ranger. That's it. It's level one Stomp still. These two ghouls, I mean, uh, they're dead. Or one of them does go down. The Shadowhunter Silence is he in trouble. Do we have Coil still? I'm not sure if the Coil... Uh, no, it was probably still on cooldown. I'm not sure. Or maybe just decided not to Coil because he wouldn't get him anyway. There's another Healing Wave. The Blade Master super long hit points now. And there's another destroyer. This cool, very long hit points. But the uh, grunt dies. This fiend's underground. The dark ranger could use the coil. There coils him. The TC and the grunts and the rangers, they don't win this fight. But they get a fiend that's underground. The code over there is easy, easy target. 
Death at level 4 now. Level 2 and uh, unholy aura. No, of course not. He picks Death Pact. And these, gl these burrs are now up. And Happy. I mean, 41 supply is 42. There's no shop. So if Happy uh, can cancel this healing self, there's still three more. Actually, still three more uses of healing self. Happy wants to creep. Shop is going back up. And his feet is uh, is dead, guys. Nice hex there on the Death Knight. Can he get a destroyer as well? The destroyers are pretty low on hit points. He's going for a nice stomp there. Hits the Death Knight. The coil was too late. Oh, and now both destroyers are dead. That's 10 supply lost there. The TC is level 3. That was really bad there for Happy. Losing those two destroyers. Missing that coil. Now Focus can creep. Focus has three level 3 heroes. Really strong heroes now. Level 2 healing wave, level 2 stomp. Uh, I kind of wanted to see him creep the blade master up actually, but he's gonna buy an item. Second info potion. I think I'd rather just see him uh, creep the blade master and the shadow hunter. Just buy the item with the TC. Just get a level 4 blade master. Level 2 critical strike is uh, relevant. Yeah, it's pretty relevant. We can do plus 25 damage. And these murlocs are dying. There's a Banshee. Oh, it did go Banshees. Dark Ranger is level 2. Death Knight is level 4. Two rings of protection. He has 9 armor on the Death Knight. 750 hit points on the Lich. Focus going for the expansion. Peons here are ready, ready to work. Do we see creep check? I mean, it's probably he's already done with the creeps by the time focus arrives. But uh, maybe, I mean, Happy doesn't have a TP. So he's forced to fight here. If focus wants to fight at least. But he has so many raiders. And we have so many ghouls and skeletons here. They're great against raiders and uh, berserkers. There's two codes as well. But what uh, are they doing here? There's nothing for them to eat really. The statue went down. Blade Magic going for the Banshee. Kills the Banshee. Already goes down. Uh, they're going, another Banshee shows up. But Stomp. This Stomp hits so much. This level 2 Stomp, of course. And this Banshee in trouble. Frost Armor. Coil. The Banshee is still alive. This Berserker is, is dead, guys. This Raider is uh, still alive. But TC gets around it. Oh, he has an Info Potion, though. He's probably going to be fine. Uh, he also has a Stomp after the Info Potion. And he keeps the TC surrounded. Uh, he Stomps. I feel like he should have waited on the stump until like the end of his info potion. But sure, Blade Master going for this Lich. The TC does retreat because he can. This Banshee is dead to the Raiders, but the Raiders are also going to die. There's a beautiful time coil just before the Hex. And yeah, this Raider is dead. God is retreating. Here comes Happy. With the skeletons. Focus just buying buying info potion just before Happy shows up. Happy buys the dust. Uh, Happy Scouts is now with the skeleton. S sees this as well. Sees there's uh, uncrapped. His list is almost level 4. Level 5 Death Knight would matter a lot. Level 3 Dark Ranger. Yeah, he's gonna creep this. What's Focus gonna do? Focus doesn't have any heroes that are close to leveling up. So I, this is good for Happy, even though folks will get an item here. Like Happy... Oh wait, did he not creep this entire creep camp? No, he didn't. Okay, never mind. Happy is going for this uh, this expansion now. Going to kill some peons, going to kill Burrow. 213 critical strike. And uh, what item did he get here? Was there not a ring of protection? Ring of protection. A snare on the death knight. <laughs> There on the Banshee, Blade Magic going for the Banshee, a Coil on the Banshee, Frost Armor on the Banshee, do we see a Stomp? Uh, there's a Stomp, hit some Ghouls, it's a Banshee. The Banshee does go down, oh, this, uh, this Ghoul is still alive, but can someone save it with a Coil or something? No, the Ghoul is, uh, actually no one kills the Ghoul. 
uh, Shadow Hunter had to use the Info Potion because it was being focused. So many uh, ghouls on low hit points. These raiders, this uh, Berserker kind of stuck over here. They're one uh, of the Berserkers gets a healing wave, so he's still alive. Statue taking a lot of damage by the 204 critical strike and a miss then. Another miss. Statue still alive. Blade Magic couldn't kill the statue. There goes the Berserker. And it's just heroes now for uh, Happy, but you know, he's going for the Shadow Hunter. If he gets the Shadow Hunter, maybe he can do something. But the Shadowhunter does he get away? Shadow Hunter 66 hit points coil and he does get the Shadow Hunter. He bought a healing potion but didn't have time to use it. But I mean Happy has only heroes left. And Focus has a huge army. 54 supply. Happy only 26 supply. Stomp on the Death Knight. The Death Knight was uh you know he's fighting against his Blade Master, but the Blade Master has the info potion, he used the info potion. Death Knight has to TP out. And there goes another Berserker. But how's the Happy gonna come back? This expansion just mining so much gold here for focus. Even though the Shadow Hunter is not here, you, you will just rebuy the Shadow Hunter. It will be at 57 supply against 33 for Happy. Oh, Happy is just gonna sit over here, kill the Shadow Hunter as he comes out. I mean, he's not rebuying the Shadow Hunter because of Happy, of course. There's a coil on the Dark Ranger. Now, uh, after the coil, maybe he could have bought the Shadow Hunter because coil was in cooldown. And the Lich uh, hardly even have mana for uh, l l how call do you call it? Nova. There's a the Shadow Hunter. He has a healing potion on the Shadow Hunter anyway. Has one on the Blade Master as well. There's mana for Coil. Two coils. This peon is in the in danger. Shadow Hunter just getting some mana. <laughs> Clarity and a mana potion. Meanwhile, a few peons died, or one peon died, or two peons died. I'm not sure. I didn't count. This uh, ghoul is not dead, though. Okay, maybe the ghoul is going to die here. And now let's go for Dark Ranger. Coil on Dark Ranger saves Dark Ranger. Banshee just cursing everyone. Curses. And this, uh, this TC in a bit of danger. We don't have. Oh, the T the healing wave was too late. Don't see that very often. I mean, actually, we do see that now and then, but not as often as the coil being too late. Uh, Death Knight eats a ghoul, but he's uh, he gets out because the statue goes down. Lich is attacking this uh, blade master, can he kill the blade master after killing the DC? No. Ah, there goes a the banshee. Dark Ranger still at the back. You guys forgot about the Dark Ranger. Uh, happy. Two codes here, killing this statue. DC is back. Do we have more healing waves? We have another healing wave in a moment. It's gonna heal the blade master and the DC, or the other way around. GG, happy GG's out and focus wins the third third map and that means we have a finals which is not going to be an undead mirror.